and welcome back to my channel. So today it's going to be a little bit of a different video today. As you can see, I'm not in my normal setup and I have a full face of makeup on. So today I'm going to be showing you my evening routine. This is kind of what I tend to do um, after I've finished filming or when I've come back from editing in the office. So we're just going to jump right in, you know. So we're just going to see what we get up to. It's mainly kind of like self-care that kind of scenario but yeah as you as the video goes on you'll see so if you just want to see how i get i'm ready for the evening then just keep on watching Woohoo! okay so i thought i would do this kind of video like vlog style they're like my kind of favorite videos to watch anyway so you can't really see because i mean i packed it all away but this is kind of like where i film excuse the mess of just yeah just one of those things so normally what you tend to see is like this oh, i'm in a yeah i'm in my pjs already but yeah so i've packed everything away i have literally just finished filming so i have just done this makeup look here so what i tend to do is i actually managed to wet my hair because i did like a kim kardashian um kind of situation so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just jump in the shower I'm going to wash my hair because I wet it with rose water spray and I don't know if that's going to work or not so I could to be fair I could probably give you like a little tour of my room is that what you're what you're interested in like okay so let's just excuse the messy bedroom but okay so as you like come in through the door this is kind of what it looks like you know obviously excuse the tv on the wall um but yeah so normally you're used to seeing this setup which takes me literally an hour every single time but yeah so i've kind of got like my main makeup like collection there and then the drawers have, are like full with like beauty beauty products and stuff and then yeah that's just my throw and like my camera stuff but yeah and then over here is kind of like where i do like all my work so my makeup brushes live here my camera normally like lives there as well these drawers are, like full of like beauty products and stuff just because i have so much already and then in here is kind of like my ensuite situation but hello so i thought i'd just quickly show you how i take my makeup off so at the minute i've been using the ola hendrickson nurturing cleansing cloths i find it really difficult to find products that suit my skin you know i go on about it every single time in every video but i literally cannot stress how sensitive my skin is so i picked these up from boots the other day and a fun fact i actually got these discounted um in the boots that we've got in huddersfield they do like a clearance kind of like shelf and they had this and the new ola hendrickson um moisturizer so i got both and ended up saving myself a ton of money so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly just take these eyelashes off i mean you couldn't really tell that i had eyelashes on because they were that small and then i'm just gonna take my makeup off with a wipe but these are so much kinder to my skin i've noticed that my skin isn't as irritated after i use one of these so um, i keep looking here but it's only because my big mirror is there but yeah so i mean there's only really one day that i'm like home on my own i mean i don't mind it though but my flatmate will literally be home like any minute now so i'm just gonna so now that i have got all my makeup off i am going to use a cleanser in the shower um i'm not going to take you in the shower with me just because my camera does seem to like go funny this is the ola hendrickson true no truth juice daily cleanser so i like to i prefer to use this in the shower um i use it morning and night and it is oh my god it literally just smells amazing so yeah i'm going to double cleanse with this and then as for my hair i don't really use that much on my hair um i said that one of my goals for 2020 was to get more into hair care and styling it differently and things like that but the shampoo and conditioner i use are the garnier ultimate blends shampoo and conditioner the color illuminator with argonal and cranberry this is the only shampoo and conditioner that seems to really get on with my hair because i am because my body is technically used to like southern water um 
when I come back up north, it just does not do well with my hair. I used to use the Aussie shampoo and conditioner and it only, it just made my hair greasier when I was up here. So I was using this back home because my mum actually uses it because she's got dyed hair. And yeah, it, I just got on really well with it and I bought a packet up here to see how I'd get on with it and I get on really well with these. So this is what I'm gonna wash my hair with. So I'm gonna quickly jump in the shower, do all those little bits, then gonna make a start on dinner. I'm out of the shower, I feel so fresh. There's, I literally just love that feeling when you get out of the shower and you feel good. So I'm just gonna quickly just brush my hair and then I'm gonna show you what I use on my skin at the minute. My skin is super, super tight from the cleanser that we used so there's not really much that has changed in my skincare routine um as for eczema um oh, i don't know if you'll be able to see oh yeah it's so bad on the back of my neck like it is literally probably the worst it's been like this side of the new year um but yeah i'll be doing a completely separate video on that and what I use so as for face there's not much that has really changed apart from the fact that I do have the Animus apricot toner which I use like towards the end of my skincare routine but yeah so I'm actually gonna quickly blow dry my hair do my skincare and then we're gonna make a move on dinner <laughs> Okay, so my hair is not 100% dry just because I was getting so hot underneath that hair dryer. I genuinely feel like I need a new one because honestly, every time I blow dry my hair, after a certain amount of time, it starts to like smell of burning. So that needs to be on my to-do list. Now that I have just blow dried my hair, I'm now gonna quickly do my skincare. Not much has really changed to be honest. I mean, I've introduced new stuff like the Ola Hendrickson cleanser. Um, I've been using for like a couple of weeks now and it is honestly transformed my face i definitely can f see and notice a difference like in my skin so i'm literally just using the Ola hendrickson dark spot toner now that i'm not wearing fake tan as often i can actually do skincare on my neck and not have to worry about it coming off and then i'm just going to take the ordinary nice made 10 percent and zinc one percent So I literally just put like a couple of drops on my hand and then rub it in like that. And then I'm just gonna take the Elemis toner and I'm just gonna oh, just spray it on my face and then I rub that in as well. And then just let it soak in a bit. And then once that's soaked in, I'm then gonna use my new Ola Hendrickson moisturizer. This is the Nurture, Nurture Me Moisturising Cream. And then... There we go. And then I just put some lip balm on. This is just the, this is the Carmex Peach and Mango flavour. Because my lips are so dry, like it's ridiculous. My flatmates just got back. Okay, so now that I've kind of like done that, I'm just gonna put my stuff away. So, I mean, look at the state of it. This pot lives in my bathroom. So it kind of just lives there. That was just an acrylic drawer with drawers in, but I took the drawers out and then just kind of keep it like that. And then that's what you were currently sitting on. So I'm just gonna take that off. And then put my makeup back. This oh, this is my new foundation that I got, but I haven't used it yet. But I did use the oh, the Nyx Born to Glow. I used this in a video. I 
just filmed and it's really good i really enjoy it oh my god this is actually so difficult to do so now what i like to do is i like to put what some wow i mean if i'm not interrupted thank you sir oh i was gonna say it's not that important but jeremy genevieve posted so it is important um yeah so what i like to do next is just put a wax mat on now i'll just show you my desk this is what my wax melt melts look like so I mean, these were just thin so yeah these are my wax melts just ignore my hard drive well the hard drive that does not work so if you know anyone that knows how to fix a hard drive please let me know because mine is actually broken and i'm so annoyed because it cost me like literally 40 quid a lighter and just light these two lights like that and then just pop them into my wax melt like that but the one i currently have now let me just show you my little collection of wax melts so this is my little collection of wax melts so this is the one that i'm currently burning this is from b and only one pound fifty and it's mandarin lime and basil and it's literally the nicest smelling wax melt literally in the world now these ones are more my christmas ones so i have gingerbread which i mean th i think this was the favorite because i was really late to the party but yeah so i've got gingerbread then this one's home baking which literally smells as if you've just put a cookie in the oven like it's so good and then this one is i can't read it vanilla sugar cookies so yeah all kind of like really sweet scents these ones were from home bargains and then like i said this one was from b m so now that my wax melts are burning i'm now about to make dinner so typically on a weekday i will cook for myself and my flatmate so i think today we plan to have stuffed peppers i'm not 100 percent sure but i'll do a time lapse of me like cooking and whatnot because I mean I'm a good cook but you know I'm not at that stage where I can like vlog in front of people you know so here's the time lapse <laughs> Okay, so it is now a little bit later than the last time I spoke to you. It's about quarter past eight now. So I'm just trying to sort something out with my hard drive because for some reason my hard drive is just not working. Like it's not showing up on my Mac 
it done it at the office computer as well so I literally have no idea but I spent 40 pounds on this hard drive and it doesn't it's just stopped working like it's just it's not recognizable which is really annoying because I store all of my videos on there so I'm just gonna do that and then when it gets to I'll say about quarter to quarter to nine I'll then get in bed and then I'll start watching Love Island so I am actually going to close today's video out now I hope you enjoyed watching my little night time you know get on ready with me um sorry if it is a bit all over the place I kind of like chopped and changed and did like different frames and things like that so um hopefully I edit this right <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video